Welcome back everyone to the Edmonton Raging Eagles Dynasty. In today in week four, we'll be going up against Rice Owls because week one was a bye. Week two we won at Central Michigan University. Week three was another bye. And that brings us here. Now Evanston is coming off a nice win. A very close win though. It was a very fun game to watch and uh, let's see how this second best rushing offense in the nation can do today. And we are off here in Evanston, Wyoming for the first home game in program history. And it looks like Williams is going to come out for a nice return here. Jabari Williams on a 23-yard return. And let's see what the offense can do here after a nice week for last week. Tom McClellan is going to line up with Tate Dunn to the right of him. And it's going to be a handoff over to Tate. He's going to stumble on alignment. And he's going to get no yards on the play. That makes it second and and after a gain of nothing by Tate Dunn, Tom McClellan is going to catch a snap. He's going to drop it. He's going to fire over to Cherrod Chance. He's going to make a leaping catch and should move the change. And after a nice reception by Cherrod, Tate Dunn is going to be in motion. It's going to be a fake and it's going to be play action. And he's going to fire over to Cherrod Chance for another first down. And after back-to-back -back passes into Cherrod Chance, Tate Dunn is going to line up to the left and he's going to get the ball. No, he won't. It's going to be a fake. Tom McClellan's going to keep it on the read option. He's going to get about to a first down. And after a nice run by Tom McClellan, he's, he's going to three around him. He's going to fake it. It's going to be triple option. He's going to pitch it over to Tate Dunn, who has one man to beat, and he gets around it, but doesn't get too far past him. Now I got the run and pass game going. It's going to be another run. This time it's going to be handoff to Rima Edwards, who's only going to pick up two yards on the play. And it looks like it's going to be another handoff, and it is to Tate Dunn. He's going to take it right up in the middle, try and cut outside, but it won't work. Third and four in the red zone. Tom McClellan is going to receive the snap drop by. He's going to look. He's going to fire over to Benny Hargrove for an eagle touchdown. And after the eagle touchdown, it's not going to be owl ball, and they're going to hand it off to DJ Robinson, and he's going to pick up a first down on the play. And the owls are a up-tempo team, so you'll be seeing a lot more um, hurry-up than you would normally see in a lot of other games. But on our schedule, a lot of umpire team. And it's going to be Michael Tidwell who's going to drop back. He's going to scramble, but he's going to get sacked for a loss of five. And it is still Owl Ball with a second and 15 after his sack. And he's going to get the pass off a little behind to Joey King, but it's still going to be a nice 11 yard reception, which is going to bring it to third and four. And you can hear the Evanston Eagles fans just getting louder and louder on these third downs. And Michael Tidwell is going to barely get the pass off, and it's going to be completed to Jeremy McKinney, but he's going to run out of bounds before he can stop his feet. The momentum just carried him out of bounds. And after the punt, it's not going to be Eagle Ball. It's going to be a handoff to Tate Dunn. He's going to run into his lineman and get caught up with him another time, the second time this game for a three-yard rush. And it looks like it's going to be Tom McClellan on that drive. He's going to look, and he's not going to see anyone open. So he's going to scramble for a first down and many more yards. It's going to be a 17-yard rush. And Tom McClellan is going to fake the handoff on a play action. Look to his left and fire Benny Hargo, who's going to make two men miss. And he's finally going to be brought down at about the 22 or 23-yard line after a huge 39-yard reception. Tom McClellan is going to line up all along the back, but Tate Dunn's going to come in motion. And he's going to hand it off. Who's just going to get stopped at the line, maybe even lose one or two. Nothing going there for the Eagles. On a second and ten here, Tom McClellan's going to line up with two running backs to the left and right. He's going to drop back, he's going to look, and he's going to scramble, and he's going to wait some more. He's finally going to take off, and he's going to get out to about the 11 or 12. And Tate Dunn is now at quarterback. As we hand off to Rima Edwards, who's not going to get anything, they're going to lose, so they're going to settle for a field goal. It is now 10-0, to your Eagles are on top, and DJ Robinson is going to take the handoff and pick up about 7 yards on the play. Some more hurry up from the Owl offense, who's been struggling so far this season, just waiting for one game to kind of get their offense set, and it's going to be a play action here, and it's going to fire over to Charles Booth, who's going to pick up a nice first down and some more about 14 or 13 yards on the play. Some more hurry up by the Owl offense, who stat-wise, and like if you look on the paper, it's, it's a good team. They got a lot of depth, a lot of very young players, so see them in another year or two. These are Robinson going to take a handoff to the left side for about eight yards. 
and Tamal hurry up, which is going to be second and two with about a minute and a half left to go in this first quarter. And DJ Robinson to the left, he's going to take the handoff and he's going to cut it up the field right in the middle. And he's going to pick up a first down, 16 yards on the play. So more hurry up. They love this uh, formation that they got the offense in and the defense that got stuck in. So we're going to have man in motion and a fake handoff. And this time it's not going anywhere. Michael Tidwell is going to lose two on the play. After the first negative play in the drive, Michael Tidwell is going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to fire over the middle to Adam Price for a five-yard reception. It's going to bring it to third and seven. And the Eagle crowd is, you can just hear them yelling and screaming right now. They're getting loud. And Michael Tidwell is going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to fire over to the left. And it's going to be a first down, Joey King with an 8-yard reception. Some more hurry up is going to be called by that Owl offense. Michael Tidwell is 5 for 5 on the day. No incompletions yet. And it's going to be an option. And he's going to fire. And Adam Price with a 4-yard rush after the flip. So it's going to bring it to 2nd and 6 with 30, about 30 seconds left on the clock. And Michael Tidwell still trying to set up. And it looks like it's going to be a false start. And it indeed is. False start on the Owls. It's going to back them up. It's going to bring it to about second and 11 with 30 seconds to go. Still second down. And after the false start, the Owls are going to have a man in motion. And Michael Tidwell is going to fake the handoff. He's going to break a tackle. And he's going to run and he's going to pick up the first down. Almost a touchdown. 16 yards after a broken tackle and it's gonna be first and goal for the Owls and Michael Tidwell's gonna get sacked loss of seven yards Van Alexander is gonna be the one to drop him and that is the end of the first quarter second and goal to start off the second quarter after a sack and it's gonna be some more read option he's gonna hand it off to DJ Robinson he's only gonna pick up a yard some more hurry up and it's third and goal so a big play for the outlaw offense see if they can score and get right back in this and Michael Tidwell's gonna drop back to gonna look he's gonna fire over the middle Devin Alford with a touchdown reception and it's gonna be a PAT and it will bring it to 7 to 10 After the Owl touchdown, it's going to be Eagle Ball, and it's going to be a fake handoff to Tate Dunn. He's going to look, and Tom McClellan's going to fire over to Dre Snyder for an 18-yard reception and a brand-new first down. After the nice reception, we're going to make Cherrod Chance in motion. It's going to be a fake, but Tom McClellan's going to keep it, and he's going to rush. It's going to be a nice pickup for Tom McClellan. And Tom McClellan's going to hand it off to Tate Dunn, who's going to get nowhere. That's not a good rush game so far. And after a one-yard loss by Tate Dunn, Tom McClellan's going to draw back. He's going to scramble. He's going to look. He's going to fire over to Stuart Stokes, who's going to pick up 16 yards. The passing attack for the Eagles has just been on point today. And it's going to be triple option here to Tom McClone. He's not going to have the chance to pitch it over, so he's just going to have to keep it and only gain about three yards on the play. Sherrod Chance back in motion for the jet sweep. This time he's actually going to take it and lose two yards. It's going to bring it to third and nine with six, six minutes left to go in the second quarter. Tom McClone is going to drop back. He's going to look. He's going to fire over to Sherrod Chance with a diving reception. And Tom McClellan's going to keep it on the read option, break a tackle, but get nowhere after that. No Second and goal here for the Eagles. And Tom McClellan's going to line up with Tate Dunn to his left. He's going to drop back. He's going to look, scramble, and he's going to fumble it in the end zone. Turnover. It is now Owl Ball. Owl Ball here after the turnover by Tom McClellan. And he's going to hand it off to DJ Robinson. He's not going to get anywhere. Oh, wait, he broke the tackle. And he's still only going to pick up two yards on the play and some more hurry up by the Eagle offense. Still trying to get everything in order for the Owls. And it looks like DJ Robinson's going to get the ball. He's going to pick up three yards and he's bringing the third and five still Owl ball here.
Mike Taylor is going to drop. He's going to fire. He's going to connect with Terry Mayo over the middle for a first down. That makes it first and, ten. and Michael Tidwell, he's going to stand back. He's going to fake the handoff to DJ Robinson. He's going to fire. And he's going to connect with Terry Mayo once again, back-to-back -back plays. And he's not quite going to get the first down, but he's going to get close. With about four minutes left in the second quarter, Michael Tidwell is going to run another option. And this time he's not going to go anywhere. Third and th it's going to bring it on a third down. And for a third and three here, Michael Tidwell is going to drop back. He's going he's gonna to have to throw it away. And it's turnover on downs. After the turnover on downs, it's now back to the Eagles. It's going to be a read option. Tom's going to keep it on the read. And he's going to slide forward and pick up about five yards on the play. After a nice little rush there by Tom, they're going to have Benny Hargrove, the main in motion. It's going to be a triple option. Tom's going to keep it. He's going to pitch it over to Tay Dunn, who has lots of room, just needs to get them speed going. And he's going to pick up a brand new first down. And after a rush that went nowhere, Tom McClellan's going to fire. And he's going to look to cheer up chance for another time. That is his third reception of the game, I believe. And he's just been on fire. And it is dropped this time. I think it was deflected, actually. No good. Second and goal. And another triple option here. And everything's going to be covered up. Tom McClellan's only going to pick up six. Third and goal. A big third down here. And he's going to fire Gerard Chance. Touchdown. The Eagles are going to take a 10-point lead here with about a minute 30 left to go in the first half. And after a touchdown by the Evanston Raging Eagles, and it's now Owl Ball. He's going to look, and he's going to fire over to Joey King for a seven-yard reception. About a minute 25 left to go in the first half. The Owls are trying to make a quick score. And he's going to fire downfield to David Hudson for 24 yards. And with a man in motion here, Michael Tidwell. Looks like he's going to take a snap, drop back. He's going to look, and he's going to break a tackle. And he's going to fire, and it's going to be a nice completion for about a yard. And Michael Tidwell's going to take off. And some glitch right there. I don't know really what happened, but let's just push that aside and continue. He looks like he only gained about two yards on the play. Third and six with under a minute to go here left in the second uh, quarter. And it's going to be fire over to Joey King, who's not going to be able to keep his feet in bounds. They're just going to have to settle for a field goal. And this is what the Eagles can do here with about 40 seconds left to go. Tom McClellan, he's not going to get tripped up instead. He's going to try and throw downfield, but he just can't make the connection happen. And after an incomplete pass by Tom McClellan, he's going to march back on. See what he can do here. He's going to drop back. He's going to look and he's going to fire over to Stuart Stokes with 35 seconds left. And now we're going to call hurry up just to keep the time like not moving. And it looked like Stuart Stokes went down quite awkwardly with a face mask, but there's no call there. And Tom McClellan's going to drop back. He's going to look and he's going to fire and it's over the head of the wide receiver and two cornerbacks. And Tom McClellan's going to line up with Tate down to the left. About 20 seconds left to go. And he's going to fire to Benny Harthoff. 20-yard reception. And some more hurry up. It look, or no, he got out of bounds. So the clock out of automatic stop. Tom McClellan's going to drop a fire. And it's going to be deflected away. Last second. Good play there. And with second and 10, 14 seconds left to go in the first half. He's going to drop back. He's going to fire. And it is dropped. Oh, he had it in his hands. He just couldn't come down with it. The hit jarred it loose. Third and ten with ten seconds to go. You know, Robert going to fire. And that one is deflected. Fourth and ten. And just out of range for the kicker. It would be a miss, so may as well just go for it here. And he's going to draw back. He's going to fire it. It is intercepted as there's three zeros hitting the clock. And that's going to end out the first half. And for the first play here in the second half, the Owls are going to have the ball to start off with. And he's going to drop back. He's going to fire very quickly out of Charles Booth for four yards. Some more hurry up offense from this Owl offense. That makes it second and, six. and Michael Tibble is going to line up with a man in motion. And he's going to take a snap, drop back, look. And he is going to fire out to the left side. It's going to be over the head. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. Third and six. 
and Michael Tibbo's gonna drop back. He's gonna look. He's gonna fire over to Charles Booth, who's gonna fall and get the first down. Any other way they could have tackled him, it probably wouldn't have been a first down. But first down, I was gonna keep on moving on this drive. And it looks like another option here, and they're gonna go for a running back. So Tidwell's just gonna keep the ball and run for about four yards. That makes it second and six. And they're still trying to get everybody together for the offense. And it's gonna be another fake handoff play action. He's gonna drop back and you know throw it a little ahead of the receiver for an incomplete third and six. But it looks like the same formation, man in motion. He's gonna drop back. He's gonna look, he's gonna fire, and it is ripped away. Great play by the cornerback there. Sherrod Chance is gonna be the man in motion. Tom's gonna keep it and just not go anywhere with the play. After a broken up play. See what Tom can do. He's going to look. He's going to fire. And it is complete to Benny Hargrove. An amazing catch right there. Very contested. This going to be a read option. They're going to hand it off to Tate Dunn, who's not going to get anything. It's been shut down all game. No no rushing attack other than the quarterback. And he's going to drop. He's going to look. And he's going to barely, barely drop from an interception. Third and eight. And Tom McCullough is going to drop back, he's going to look, and he is going to, might, he's, he's going to get sacked. No one open, great defense downfield. It's going to lead to a punt, and our ball, once again, they're going to dump it off to Joey King for about only a gain of 10 yards. And with a hurry up offense, Michael Tidwell is going to line up with Joey King right to the right of him, and they're going to hand it off to Joey King for five yards. After an hour first down, let's see what they can do with about five minutes to go left in the third quarter. And it's going to be another handoff to Joey King, who's going to fumble it. And the defense gets the ball. A huge turnover there. And it's going to be equal ball right around the midfield. And Tom McCone's going to scramble. And he has a lot of room to run. He's going to make a man miss. And then he's just going to slide. Almost out of bounds, a huge rush there. And now they're close to the red zone. He's gonna fire off bounce to Betty Hargrove, who's gonna make a nice catch. This offense is finally fired on the on, finally on fire right now. And a five yard rush for a first down, first and goal. They're back in the red zone here. And Tom McClellan's gonna make some changes in like what the defense is doing. And he's going to drop back, look, and he's going to dump it off to Rima Edwards. But there's a flag on the play, and it was a illegal, illegal touching. touching on Rima Edwards. Ran out of bounds, and then he decided to run back in, and you can't do that. So he's going to back the Still Eagles up. Down. He did go down kind of awkwardly, so I thought it would be a face mask. But Tom McClellan's going to get right back to He's going to drop back. He's just going to overthrow him. That was a horrible throw, nearly picked. Thankfully, it wasn't. He's gonna drop it, fire over the middle to Dre Steiner for a touchdown. The Eagles are going to take a two touchdown lead with 3.38 left to go. And now it's Owl Ball that need to do something here else or he's gonna be right out of the game. And it's gonna be a read option. Tidwell's gonna keep the ball on the carry and he's gonna pick up about 16 yards, a very nice rush. Some more hurry up after a nice run. And then Michael Tidwell is going to line up with DJ Robinson to the right. And he's going to be another fake handoff. But this time it ain't going anywhere. Michael's going to lose a yard on the play. And Michael Tidwell is going to drop back. He's going to look and he's going to fire. And he's going to be a make a man miss. But not going to go anywhere after that. Third and nine. With about three minutes left to go in the third quarter. And same formation as these fans are getting really loud on third down. And there's a man through. And he delivers on a beautiful pass. Just a complete dot to David Hudson. That was an amazing pass. The cornerback just got, he got lost. He thought he was going on a streak, but he just turned right around and there it was. And Michael Tidwell is going to outrun a middle linebacker, it looked like, for a first down. Got to wrap up on those. At least got to make an attempt to trip him up or something. He just went right by him. And it looks like Michael Tidwell's going to fire. And it is nearly intercepted. Just dropped. That is one that we got to make. 
the turnover. And Charles Booth is going to catch it again for it. It's going to make it third and three, and they're going to call hurry up. You think that they would want to, like, calm it down, pick the right play here, but they like the defense. They like what the formation defense is in. And Michael Tidwell is just going to escape. Just went right up the middle, dodge a tackle. First and goal, owl ball, right around the six yard line. Michael Tittle is going to line up with DJ Robinson to the right of him. And he's going to drop, he's going to quickly fire, he's going to hit off the field goal post. A lot of quick pressure there. Second and goal here for the Owls. With a man in motion and DJ Robinson right behind him. He's going to hand it off, he's going to have a huge gap right in the middle. It is now 17 to 24. Benny Hargrove, the man in motion, it's going to be a fake, he's just going to keep it on the play action. Look, and he's just going to get the ball off in time. Incomplete pass. And let's see what the Eagles offense can do here is Tom McClellan's going to make some changes with the line. Gerard Chance is going to be the man in motion. And he's, that play was just broke. I don't know what Tom was trying to do there, but the pressure got there really quick. Third and 12, Tom McClellan's going to drop it, you know, looking and fire over to Dre Snyder, who's going to make a nice catch for a first down. Share out chance in motion again this time it's gonna be handoff to him. And he's gonna pick up about six on the play. Nice little rush there on first down. And Tom McClellan's gonna line up with Tate Dunn to the right of him. And he's gonna drop back to look and he's gonna fire across his body to Benny Hargov. A nice pitch and catch there. And a little glitchy this one was, but Tom McClellan's gonna Look, he's going to fire to Rima Edwards. What a play on the on his back foot. Just delivers a dot to Rima. An over-the-shoulder catch all around. Amazing play. 31-17 with 30 seconds to go. And this defense is just going to stop him for a two-yard rush. Evanston is fired up. 31-17. Can they go 2-0? and As the third quarter is winding down quickly. Michael Tibble is going to drop back, he's going to look, he's going to fire over to Charles Booth, who's just going to get the first down. Forward progress helped him out there. 17 seconds left to go. And Michael Tibble is going to line up with DJ Robinson directly behind him. It's going to be a handoff to DJ, as he's going to pick up some nice blocks, but he's going to trip on his own offensive lineman. Only going to pick up two. And he did fall out of bounds, so the clock will be stopped with Oh, no, he did not. Five, four, the clock is ticking down. Will they get off? They're going to get off one more play before the quarter ends. And Marlo Tidwell's going to scramble. And he's going to fumble it. And the defense recovers it. Two turnovers. The defense, what a way to end out the third quarter. To start off the fourth quarter, let's see what Evanston can do. After a nice turnover by the defense, it's going to be a fake hand off the chair run. Yes, Tom McClellan's going to lose two yards on the play. He's going to bring him a second and 12 here. Tom McClellan's going to draw back. He's going to scramble. And he's going to pick up a nice amount of yards. Third and two off a 10-yard rough by Tom McClellan. And the defense slowly creeps in. It's going to be a read option that by Tom McClellan. He's going to break a tackle and keep the play alive for a first down. Sammy the Owl does not look happy. And Tate Dunn's going to take the handoff. He's finally going to get a decent run. It's actually a pretty good run for first down. It looks like about 14 yards. And Tate Dunn's going to be in motion once again. This time it's going to be a play action. Fire last second. And it is dropped. He could have had that. That could have been a nice reception. He just dropped it last second. And triple option here. But they're just going to hand it right off to Rima Edwards for four yards. Third and six within the 10 yard line, but it looks like they're on the six yard line. And Tom's gonna drop back, he's gonna look, and it's gonna be a fumble. He got hit as he thrown and it is declared a fumble. Turnover, and it's gonna be a nice run here by DJ Robinson, look like a 15 yard run. Some more hurry up here by the Owl offense. Been working so far. And DJ Robinson line directly left of Michael Tidwell is going to be screen pass, and DJ Robinson is going to get a first down. He's going to get Robinson thrown out of bounds for about 13 yards. Nice little screen pass there.
And he's going to be, not a sack, but he's just going to be stuffed for a loss of four. Second and 14. And Michael Tibble gets hit as he throws. And then a huge stiff arm, Joey King. He's going to get about six on the play. Third and eight. And Michael Tibble is going to, the pocket closed really quick, but he's still going to deliver a dot to Joey King. A lot of pressure all around him, just stood in there, stayed calm, cool, and collected. And it's going to be a handoff this time, and it's going to be not a first down. Maybe could have had a first down, but decided to go with a stiff arm and brought him back about a yard. Adam Price is going to line up directly left of him. And this time, Tidwell's going to throw it to Charles Booth, it looks like. Who's going to make a man miss? Charles Booth with a nice eight-yard reception. Some more hurry-up offense. And it's going to be a handoff, but this one ain't going anywhere. Adam Price is going to lose two. And Tom McClellan is out for the game with a sprained ankle. That's not something that we want to see, but let's see if the defense can hold on to this lead. And as we're talking about that, it's going to bring in a third and five for the defense. Margo Tidwell is going to line up next to DJ Robinson. He's going to fire. And he's not going to get the first down. Fourth and two with four minutes left to go. The defense is going to change their play. And it's going to be a play action. And it's going to be caught for a first down and a lot more. Chris Joyce is going to make it first and goal on about the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And with four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, it's going to be a handoff to DJ Robinson. Who's going to break a tackle and get in? Touchdown Owls. Now a touchdown game. And with a triple option with Jonathan McGee. And he's going to pick up a first down. Nice rush there by the big quarterback. And Sherrod Chance is going to be back in motion. This time they're going to hand it off to him. Going to make a man miss as he runs out to the outside. Second and one. And with three minutes left to go, I think they're just kind of waiting for the play clock to go down, take off some seconds off the game clock. And it's going to be a handoff to Tate Dunn for a first down. And he's still fighting a little bit. Seven yards for the man. Another jet sweep, it looks like. And it is. But this one is stuffed. They're going to lose two yards on this play. Around 2.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. Jonathan McGee is going to drop back and deliver a dot to Stuart Stokes. 28 yards on the throw. And Jonathan McGee is going to make some changes at the line. He's going to drop back. There's a lot of pressure. He's still going to deliver it to Stuart Stokes. Seven yards. And a timeout by Rice as they try to keep the clock stopped. And this time it's going to be a... Read option by Jonathan McGee. And the big quarterback is going to run. He's going to get stopped at the one-yard line. Just shy of the goal line. And it's a Jonathan McGill. It's a quarterback draw. Touchdown, Evanston. Is they're going to take a two-score lead here late in the game. And it's going to be long. And it is just dropped by Marcelo Bradley. Oh my gosh, that should have been an interception. He just dropped it. Second and ten with just under two minutes to go left in here in the fourth. And Michael Tidwell is set. Third and 17. Just under a minute. 30 here to go. And it's a screen pass. And nobody's home. And he's going to get there. Fourth and 11 with a minute to go left in the fourth. Let's see what this defense can do. As he has nobody in the pocket he's all alone and Marcelo Bradley's not gonna be aware of the pass and he's gonna dive and miss a tackle Jeremy McKinney with a 49 yard reception oh my gosh Marcelo you're dropping interceptions now I just need to be aware where the ball is and this is a definite offside to the defensive lineman is way too slow to get back there in time defense yeah just a, oh my lord Free five yards right there. Automatic first down. First and five with 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Your fourth quarter. 
And he's going to be caught. And he's going to break, stay on his feet. Two yards, second and third. And it's just going to be a quick spike here to bring him to third and three. And with 37 seconds left, 37 seconds left to go. Third and three here, and Michael Tidwell's gonna drop. It's gonna be another screen. And he's gonna stay on his feet, but he's not gonna pick up the first down. Fourth and one. Couldn't call hurry up here with the clock ticking. And he's all day in the pocket, and there's gonna be no one getting to him. He's gonna go for a dot to add a price. 18 seconds left to go. First and 10 as the clock slowly takes down. And Michael Tibble's going to drop back. He's going to look. And he's just going to throw this one away. Second and 10 with 11 seconds left to go. And Michael Tibble's going to drop back. He's going to look and he's going to fire over to DJ Robinson. Who's going to get in for a late touchdown? That's going to bring it with a PAT 31 to 38 in the onside. And it is caught. The hand team was out there already. And it looks like your Eagles are going to win the game and go 2-0. and oh. first, It's finally winning streak. Let's check out the stats. So Jonathan McGee, or Tom McClelland with some nice passing yards. Very good. One interception, though. And Tom McClelland had a very nice day. Passing as he did in the air, look at this. Tom McClellan, 97, and Tate Dunn, 96. You can't find that anywhere else in the country. Just, And then we got some receiving stats here. Benny Hargov let, looks like they led the team with 116 yards. And just some defensive stats here. Uh, Rashawn Hayes led the team this week in tackles. Jabari Williams not doing too bad. And the recruiting. Uh, we're not, we're doing pretty good for the first year. Um, I'd like to see a lot more better players, but we, 